Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Grabman bringing you another episode of Trail Makers, and today we're gonna build a train. You have to, uh, just a train with a bunch of carts attached to it, and the carts are gonna kind of snake around and stuff, and, uh, we're gonna see how many carts we can put on the train, we're gonna take the train off of jumps, and maybe we'll try to make it fly. We'll see how the train section goes first, and then we'll strap some wings onto that thing, and just see what happens with that. So what I like about this is, um, I'm gonna build the front section, and then I'm gonna build one, uh, cart section, and then the carts can then just be kind of copy and pasted until it tells us that we can't do that anymore. So let's start with the front section first, and then we'll uh, continue on from there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the front end of the train. Um, I, I tried to make it a little bit more rounded at first, but it ended up being way too thin and top heavy. So I had to widen out the wheelbase a little bit in order to actually prevent it from flipping over at the slightest little turn. So I think I might have a little bit too much power in here, but we're gonna need that when we start adding uh, some carts to the train. But there's six dragon engines in here. And when we start going at those speeds, that's when the tipping uh, becomes an issue. So tipping is definitely gonna be an issue for this thing. I even added some, uh, like, 50 kilogram weight blocks underneath on the front and the back. But, uh, it doesn't help too much. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. I did a little bit of aesthetics on here, and I'm worried that it's going to, uh, take away from the amount of carts we're gonna be adding to this, because the more parts we add, the more complexity we add, and then the closer we get to the limit of how many parts we can have. <laughs> Look at this! Uh, we have no suspension on this thing. Wait, that, that is not repairing. What happened to all the parts? I haven't saved this thing yet. It better be in my history. All right, good. We still got it in our history. All right, so, um, it has four wheel steering because the front wheels don't do nearly enough. So I needed to have the back wheel steering in order to do this. So I figured now that we have the actual front of the train with a ton of power. Let's use the trailer hinge and add some carts behind this thing. We're gonna add some cargo crates behind this. Oh, watch out, chicken. Oh, well. We're gonna add some cargo crates behind this thing and then we're gonna see how much it can pull or how much we can even add. All right, are we gonna be able to repair this time? There we go. So I'm just gonna build the cart as a separate entity first and then we can just uh, add it on to the, to the front end after we get a decent looking cart going on. Okay, and here is what the cart is looking like, at least the uh, the first cart. And one little adjustment here, I feel like the roof should extend just past. Oh yeah, that looks much better. All right, now let's bring the train in and we should be able to take this and bring it right over there. Is that enough? Do we need a little bit more? We might need a little bit more room, but let's just try this out and see how, this is looking good. 
Let's just look at, uh, oh, okay, there we go. All right, let's see how this goes. I feel like there should be a little bit more space in between them, but then again, what do I know? And also, I'm realizing that the engines automatically get assigned to all the wheels. So yeah, we're gonna put a little bit more space in between there, and then we're gonna deactivate the wheels on all of the, uh, on all of the carts trailing behind. All right, here we are. So now it should be only the front that has the engines. Let's see how this thing feels now. Ooh, much slow. Whoa, whoa. Controlling it's a lot harder. All right, so I think for the next carts that I add, I'm gonna have them be more of a, like this one's more of like a passenger cart because it has like the roof. But I think for the other ones, I'm gonna have them be more of like a cargo cart. So they're gonna have no roof because the roof is adding a lot of complexity because of all those individual pieces. Look at that reflection. That's a nice reflection. Uh, so they're just gonna have no roof and it's gonna make a much simpler object. But first, let's take this thing off this uh, this spine here and just, see, just to see what happens. Eh. All right, that was fantastic. We're definitely gonna add some thrusters to this thing at some point. All right, so I'm noticing a very, very strange effect that doesn't make any sense to me at all. Now, if we look carefully, you can see that the back, the back cart, the wheels are clearly not powered. Like, they're just rolling. The ones in the front, you can see them spinning out. But if I gain enough speed, the back of my train lifts up as if the back cart is pushing into it. I'm gonna see if I could reproduce it. Oh, oh. Yeah, see, there we go. You see, like, when I turn a little bit, what is that? Like, why would that happen? That is really confusing me right there. So I don't know what that is, but it takes all my speed away when that happens. Because the, the car should just be dragging behind. It shouldn't really be affecting me in that way. All right, well, let's go ahead and see if we can just take this thing up. See, we're losing all of our speed because of that. Let's just see if we can take this thing off this jump. <laughs> this is pathetic. <laughs> Yay, we did it. All right, let's see what happens if we add more cards. This is not going to get any better, I don't think. All right, let's see if this makes it any better or worse. I'm assuming worse, but we're going to find out. Oh, boy. Oh, you know what? I think those back wheels are powered. Yep, those back wheels are powered. But let's see how that performs compared to when I unpower them. All right, solid performance there. Now let's uh, let's unpower those back wheels and see if we get any better performance out of that. All right, here we go. So now we're just pure dragging the carts and it is worse. It is much worse for some reason. I'm going to add more weight to the back to see if we can uh, keep our back wheels on the ground there. Because I don't like the way that that effect is happening. It's, it's ruining all of our all of our speed, all of our traction. All right, I just added 250 more kilograms to the back. So let's see if this keeps our back wheels on the ground. That's giving us more traction and hopefully uh, more speed. A whopping 32 kilometers per hour. I think I can actually change that to miles per hour now. Oh, here we go. Miles per hour. America. All right. A whopping. It, it looks even worse now. 22 miles per hour. <laughs> oh, no. Why does this happen? Why does this happen? All right. You know what? It's time. It is time to add some thrusters in here. And I think I think I could actually put thrusters like right in the nose here. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Perfect slot for thrusters. All right, that's looking pretty cool. So now we got four thrusters, four dragon thrusters, and this should help us uh, get a little bit more speed that won't be affected by the traction that uh, we're having trouble with here. All right, so here's our traction. Max speed, 22. Yep, 22. Add some thrust. That's not helping at all. You know what we need? Spoilers. This train needs spoilers. That's exactly what this train needs. Look at this. This actually kind of almost looks more like a 18-wheeler uh, uh, cabin up here rather than a steam engine cabin. So that's interesting. I might want to keep that basic cabin. Like, this is looking cool with the spoiler now. I don't know if the spoiler is going to help. I don't think it is, but it looks way better. All right, come on. Come on, spoilers. Get, do your thing. This is so bad. All right, all right, all right. Here, here's what we got to do. Here's what we got to do. We got to switch the engines and the thrusters around because we have all these engines in here, but these thrusters 
might be better off back here because right now the thrusters being at the nose are causing our nose to pitch down a little bit. So hopefully the thrusters being at the back here like this, maybe instead they'll help us pitch up a little bit. All right, let's see if that changed anything. So here's just driving. Actually, that made driving better. Driving is now at 27 instead of 22. All right, so now let's try the thrusters. There goes the thrusters. Oh, so much better. That made all the difference. Oh, look at this. We are so fast now. I don't know. Do we break 100? I wasn't looking. Thrusters full power. Oh, it's doing it again. All right, wait. Maybe I need to get some speed first. Now thrusters. Wait, why was it working just a second ago? And now it's doing the, the back is coming up thing. That is so confusing. I really can't understand the physics of why the back is lifting up like that. Like, do we have some type of aerodynamic effect going on somewhere? Because this doesn't make any sense to me at all. All right, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's simplify it. We're just gonna make all of the engines power all of the wheels and maybe that'll just solve all our problems. All right, there we go. Now we have all of our wheels powered. Oh. <laughs> so flipping is gonna be the big issue with all of our wheels powered. Yeah, and now let's go ahead and do thruster pa At least we're going faster now. But man, this is the biggest failure of a train I've ever seen. I mean, it looks cool, but it just does not function in any way that makes sense. Why are my back wheels lifting up? I am so confused right now. What we're, what we're just going to do, is, because this isn't working very well, we just got to add more of these. I think that's the only, that's the only logical solution. All right, there's another one. There's another one. I expect it to become too complete. Oh, there we go. And now this is the maximum that we can have. All right. Uh, I don't know what to expect. All wheels are powered, by the way. And we have a horrible starting point right here. Let's just uh, turn. Hey, this looks not too bad right now. If I go really, really slow, this looks like I kind of knew what I was doing. I was gonna turn over this way and hope that we don't flip. This is working out pretty well, actually. All right, now let's watch it all, all go downhill when we try to uh, actually go fast. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh, uh, that makes not a lot of sense to me. All right, there goes nothing. Let's go ahead and just get off of this hill first. Ooh. I love seeing snaky stuff like that. It's so satisfying to watch. All right, let's go ahead and straighten ourselves out this way. All right, we're doing good so far. We're doing good so far. All right, and max power. Oh no, oh no, we're fishtailing. This is working better though. This is working much better. I don't know where- oh, why are we going up here? I don't know why I'm going up here, but we're go- we're going- we're a train going through a tunnel now. This is not an official train tunnel, but we're gonna try to get through here. Our tail is fishtailing like crazy though, and the game is lagging just a little bit. Oh no! We're still alive. Everything looks like it's intact. Somehow, we're making it through this tunnel. We have way more- way more stability than I thought, and this doesn't look stable at all, so that's saying something. All right, our back wheels are still doing the lifty up, lifty up thing. So that that's the only. Oh, we're doing better though. We're do oh no. I think we're uh, I think we're down for the count here. But that honestly went way better than I expected it to. All right, so I want to take this thing off some off some ramp. So let's try our best to go straight towards this. Uh, ramp here and see if we can just drive right off of it and see how the train flies through the air. And then I'm gonna add some wings to this thing and that's just not gonna make any sense whatsoever but we're gonna add some wings to this thing and see if we can somehow get it to glide at least. We're not gonna be able to get it to fly for sure. Alright, here we go. Yay, 20 miles an hour. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, we're gonna explode. Or not. We actually didn't take a whole lot of damage there, all things considered. All right, we need to find a better spawn point, though. All right, well, let's see what this cliff is like. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, 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 boy. 
Oh. Oh, we didn't make it that far, did we? Nope, not at all. Ooh, this is a nice spawn point. At least we're flying, I feel like. Alright, let's give her all she gets. <laughs> the way the tail just kind of like drifted around. What was that? I haven't heard that screeching sound before. All right, cool. Let's uh, get back and put some wings on this thing. We're not going to be like strategically placing wings or anything. We're just going to be straight up placing wings and hoping for the best. All right, how's this looking? Not not good to me, but uh, we're going to see what happens. Probably, it's just probably going to make no difference. We're not getting nearly enough speed to generate like any lift whatsoever. But I would just love it if this thing like looked like it was gliding at least. All right, here we go. Well, we're not exploding, so it's like pretty well fortified. All right, let's go backwards then. Oh, this is a much bigger clip. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, oh, oh boy. Okay. Oh, this is such a laggy creation. Okay, yeah, we uh, yeah, we we we're we're not well equipped for flying. Full power, go, go, no. Oh, why? We are trying this again. Go! Oh! We kind of made it. We lost some of our wings, but we kind of made it. We're a pretty trained dragon. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was a good landing. It looks like the passenger cart didn't survive. Okay, never mind. It's disappearing. Everything's dis Everything's gone. Everybody left us. We're all alone. Oh, no. All right, well, if that jump didn't work, let's try this jump. All right, come on, nice and straight, nice and straight. Ooh, that was one of our better, like, takeoffs. But, uh, yeah, I think we're a little front heavy. Seemed to be a little bit front heavy on the train there. So I'm gonna say that uh, this was an overwhelming success. We built the best flying train anyone's ever seen in Trailmakers. I mean, aesthetically, I'm proud of it. Sarcasm aside, aesthetically, I'm actually proud of it. That's not actual sarcasm or anything. But functionally, uh, it, it, the physics don't work quite the way I was expecting with this thing. I thought it was going to be able to pull these cards and stay flat on the ground, but that's clearly not happening. So it's very possible that I'm just a, a complete idiot and there's something going on here that is very obvious that I could just fix. But I don't, I'm not seeing it right now, so uh, let me know if there is uh, just something that I'm missing. If not, maybe it's just maybe the Trailmaker's physics when it comes to these uh, trailer hinges are just a little bit wonky right now. But uh, let me know what your favorite part about this video was. Did you like the creation? And what do you want to see in future Trail Makers episodes? If you're not subscribed already, make sure you do subscribe because doing creative stuff like this in games is kind of what this channel is all about. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.